What's going on guys, it's Jason Morris here. I hope you're all well. Just like to say thank you to each and every single one of you guys that have subscribed to my YouTube channel and watch my videos, hit that thumbs up, all that kind of stuff. I really appreciate it. I love trying to give you guys the quality and best of my abilities. And uh, if you do have any video ideas, just comment below or comment in my videos, any questions in that, I'll try and answer them in future videos. I'm gonna start doing some questions and answers at the end of each video, just so I can really uh, provide a little bit more quality to you guys. Now, uh, this one was meant to be predominantly about the Femi Palm and the Osmo Pocket, but there are a few other questions as well. Now, I know there is uh, the Snopper VMate, and I know there is the Feutech Pocket as well. So it is really good to see competition for DJI because pretty much uh, there has been nothing to contend with the Osmo Pocket since the beginning until now. But anyway, let's get straight into the discussion. Now, Virtual Patia said, images much more pleasant with the Osmo Pocket. I dare say, easier to color grade in decent. Like, on a side note, the fact that your thumbnail says, let's find out, I, ca I can't help it. <laughs> this is actually quite funny. The everyday dad's voice saying it, let's find out. <laughs> he says it in all these videos. Uh, I didn't mean for that. Um, that's not a question, but thank you uh, for putting that in there. Um, Captain Farhad, now he's, uh, commented a few times below he uh, actually was in my Osmo Pocket collab so thank you for sending the Osmo Pocket collab video through uh, he says Osmo Pocket is a small cinematic camera uh, Femi Palm is more of an action camera end of story smiley face um, I agree um, it's that wider field of view does make it a little bit more difficult to get a cinematic sort of view um, once again, that isn't a question, uh, but that was just a comment on the video, so I thought I'd bring that up. Uh, what do you guys think? Cinematic camera, action camera? Up to you, comment below. Okay, now Peter Nichols. Now this was good. Uh, he mentioned something really interesting. Uh, so he said, um, apparently the shutter speed on the Femi Palm is forthcoming feature currently under testing. Uh, so that is good. And I think uh, there are a couple other people, Ken Denaro also mentioned the same. So uh, it looks like Femi Palm are doing a firmware update. So you're able to utilize the shutter speed, uh, which is fantastic because that was the one downfall of the Femi Palm is that you couldn't adjust the shutter speed or the shutter angle. So. Thank you, Femi Palm. Oh, thank you guys for Peter Nichols and Ken DeNaro for uh, pointing that one out. Now, next one. Okay, so we got one here by Cambodia Expats Online. He said, didn't even mention the audio there. The Osmo Pocket built-in audio is often good enough while the Silly Palm audio is horrendous. Now I will have to agree. I didn't uh, mention the audio, so thank you for putting that one in there. Um, you know, honestly, I don't like comparing onboard audio because you really shouldn't ever use onboard audio. It should always be laved up or shotgun mic. Now, I should have mentioned it, definitely, yes. Uh, the Osmo Pocket seems to be just a touch better than the Femi Palm when it comes to audio. But I guess uh, their idea is to not really focus on audio quality internally, which kind of sucks. Um, but hopefully you'll be able to attach the USB-C adapter. Uh, well, you can with the Osmo Pockets. I've seen a lot of people do it with the, I haven't tried that yet. I've got to try that and test it out, tell you guys what it's going to be like with the Osmo, or with the Femi Palm, sorry, with the, um, the audio. So I'll check that out and uh, report back to you guys to see how it went. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Random Life Production said, I think if you're on a budget, Femi Palm is probably the best value. Uh, and if people are short on cash, you would definitely consider the Femi Palm. This is paraphrasing. Uh, however, owning GoPros, Osmo Actions, you don't need any action camera uh, other than that. So yes, I do agree. It does have that wide field of view like an action camera. Um, yeah, that's why I do prefer the Osmo Pocket because it is actually a longer focal length. I know a lot of people prefer that wider field of view, everything in focus, not my shooting style, uh, but it all depends on what you actually prefer and how you're actually gonna be using the camera anyway. Um, w Canali said, wait, there is another one, Snopper VMate. Yes, there is Snopper VMate, there is Feutech uh, Pocket. Now these are other, other competitors. Now I've seen videos on the Snopper VMate and yeah, 
It's not exactly the greatest. It does seem like a, a cheaper version of both of these, uh, but it's not actually cheap. It's actually very similar price to the Osmo Pocket. Uh, the Femi Palm is actually probably the cheapest and uh, really good for its value. But yeah, that's interesting. Thank you for commenting, W Canale. I know you've commented on a lot of my videos. Thank you for following me through my journey. Okay, Richard Godfrey said, dollar for dollar here, Femi Palm is $200 cheaper. So it does it for me, DJI is too expensive. You know, I do agree. Um, DJI are the leaders in the market and they pretty much set the price standard. Uh, the Osmo Pocket should be cheaper for what it is, definitely, uh, because you can see the uh, Osmo Action is a lot cheaper than the Osmo Pocket. I think because they're selling the Osmo Pocket like hotcakes, they're keeping the price up, which does suck. So thank you for uh, Xiaomi and, and Snopper, Who's the maker of Snopper? Is it Snopper? I think it's Snopper. And Feutech for bringing out these replica ones. Like this is really helping the industry and trying to knock DJI off that podium uh, because they are setting the standards of the pricing. And I hope these other companies will bring that pricing down so everything else is much more affordable. Okay, thank you. Oni Zabia. Oh, sorry if I got that. Uh, incorrect, Oni, Oni, Oni Zabia. Uh, thank you for this comparison. Going to wait to see if DJI will have the Mark II this year. Um, good luck with your neighbor. Yes, okay, so my neighbor was building a whole bunch of stuff and he builds stuff every day. It's Sunday today, so hopefully he's not gonna be building anything and we're gonna get peace and quiet. Um, but uh, Mark II for the Osmo Pocket, that is potential, uh, maybe not this year because of this whole, uh, pandemic going on, it has slowed the companies down. Now, I, I think China has actually brought back a lot of their companies online now, so they are back in business. So we, uh, obviously that's put a lot of halt on like Canon's, you know, R5, that's put a halt on Sony's production. Everything is being affected at the moment. So whether we'll see an Osmo Pocket 2 this year, I can't see it happening because it, the, all the delays, potentially 2021, Will they do an Osmo Pocket 2? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. With all this competition going around, uh, I really would like to see it because it is due, definitely. But thank you for uh, putting your word in there. Um, okay, so Mike said, what do we need to consider? What is the best clip length to make an interesting short film with pocket recorders? Now this one's an interesting question because uh, there isn't a, a length of perfect length to make an interesting short film. Now, it's almost like saying, uh, how, much, how long is a piece of string? Well, a piece of string could be any length. To make something engaging, you really need to have a really good story. You can't just have a whole bunch of random shots just to put it together and say that that's a short film. There isn't, the, probably the short answer, this, this is actually a really long answer, but probably the short answer is there isn't an actual length to make something uh, good or appealing to others. You just really need to focus on composition and framing, uh, good lighting, and yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch of dynamics to make something look good in a frame. But thank you for that, Mike. Uh, Khaled and Diane, 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 Dane, Danny, Danny? Khaled and Danny. Yep. Hey man, I uh, hope you and your family are doing good. I just want to know what the best settings are for the Osmo Pocket as a main camera. I know you did a video about adjusting manually, uh, but what is the best basic Osmo Pocket for the main camera in studio? So me and my girl will be starting vlogs, but I am having troubles with setting, with the setting. Thank you. Okay, uh, so yes, I did do a full video on this, uh, but the basic thing that I you could probably get out of this answer is lighting. Now making sure that your Osmo Pocket is set to your frame rate, double the shutter speed, and make sure your exposure is on zero or plus 0.3, at least a little bit above. That's gonna get rid of the grain. If you are below zero, you're gonna have to bump that exposure up in ISO. You're gonna actually have some grain in there. So keep the ISO down at 100, double the frame rate for your shutter speed, and introduce some good lighting. So light up the subject as best as possible. If anything, slightly above zero, just slightly. You don't wanna be clipping the highlights. 
Uh, but that is the easiest way to set up the Osmo Pocket because of the low light performance. So try that. Uh, I hope that helps. If you do have any other questions, just comment below. Okay, next one is Z352 KDAF83241. Interesting name. Audio sync issues across long clips and is there really 4K60? I don't know what you mean about is there really 4K60? Yes, there is 4K60 uh, in the Osmo Pocket. Only uh, 4K30 in the Femi Palm. Audio sync issues across long clips. Now, I have noticed this um, even uh, through regular clips. Now, I don't think I've mentioned this in a video before, but if anything, the Osmo Pocket is about one frame off with the audio sync. So if my mouth is moving, uh, the audio sync is about a frame, like literally one frame off. It's so small, uh, but there is a syncing issue that I have noticed, um, but you'd really, really, really have to get really close to it. In terms of uh, across long clips, it used to be like this. Uh, Femi, sorry, not Femi, Osmo Pocket uh, DJI did release a firmware update to fix this. So make sure you do update to the latest firmware uh, because there was audio syncing issues, but they did fix that. Now, Trung Trey, Tree? Trung Tree, Trey, Trung Trey. Sorry if I got that wrong. Uh, I know you've commented a few times before. Uh, excuse me, at one minute 26, you said the Osmo Pocket can do 1080 at 120 frames per second. I did not find this resolution with mine. What can I do? Now, the Osmo Pocket and Femi Palm can do 1080 at 120. You just got to go to the slow motion function. Uh, so if you do go into the video settings and try and select 1080, it only gives you 60 frames per second. You've actually got to swipe across and go into slow motion. Now that is 1080 at 120 frames per second. Um, so yeah, check that one out. And it does uh, spit it out at 30 frames per second as well, which is half an issue with uh, me because I shoot in a 25 frames per second timeline. Uh, but which means I have a 30 frames per second. It does frame drop to match it to 25, or I could slow it down by X amount of percent to get it to 25%. Uh, but it does, yes, yeah, slow motion at 120 frames per second, or four times slow motion, they call it. Um, AJVL said, try cinematic video with the Femi Palm. Done. Okay. Challenge accepted. Thank you. Nikki Rocks. I just received the Femi Palm earlier today. How do you connect the Femi Palm to an iPhone? Huh, when I am connected, it says Wi-Fi, there is no connection to the Palm. Uh, I tried so many different ways, but I still can't figure it out. Thank you. Okay, I don't have an iPhone. I've got Android, but potentially try and update to the latest firmware on the Femi Palm, but also try and update to the latest app software. And also sometimes your phone uh, you might have to update your phone's um, uh, firmware update. So, so probably try and update the phone's firmware update as well. Uh, turn it off and on, the basics. Other than that, it should connect. It connects to mine. I haven't heard this issue, but like I said, I am Android, but I haven't heard any other issues with the iPhone. Uh, but that's probably all I can think about at the moment with troubleshooting, your basic turn off and on, update firmware, um, even turn off and on your uh, Bluetooth as well or Wi-Fi. Try that um, and see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, there are so many more, but uh, that's probably all I'll do today. Um, so I really hope you got a lot out of this video. If you did, hit that like button, that'd be absolutely amazing. If you have any more questions or you want to see more of this, Comment below, I'd really like to do another. This was it's quite interesting to do this. Um, it, is, it was really fun. It's the first one of its kind. So yeah, comment below if you do have any more questions. On that guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you already haven't. Hit that bell notification so you can be notified when my next videos come out. My name is Jason Morris and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, let's get it.